Hello Internet family. Um, today I'm going to be talking on a subject that may sound morbid, but the subject is about hell and does it exist? And I wanted to share my experiences uh, about uh, the visitations that I've had to hell, uh, the dreams, the visions, and I'm going to try to condense it within a few minutes. But it's a serious subject. Some of you might be familiar with Mary Baxter who wrote the book uh, Revelation of Hell. And uh, it's a real subject, family. Um, I know my first experience uh, with even knowing that hell existed was when I was in 10th grade in high school. Uh, I came up in the Baptist church. And no one ever talked about heaven or hell on a deep level. Uh, in fact, I never heard about hell. Now, I've heard them talk about heaven, but never about hell. So I was in the 10th grade. I wanted to just share my experience to let you know that um, it's real. Um, I was in the 10th grade, and I was at home. And it felt like a... Um, like I was really there. I'm going to say a dream, but I felt like my whole body and everything that it was an actual out-of-body experience that I had. And I'm going to say within the experience, um, somehow I fell off a cliff. It almost looked like it had the appearance of the Grand Canyon. But everything was red, it was fiery red, and it was hot. Um, in the vision, I fell and looked like nothing could break my fall. And I was screaming. I could feel the heat. My body was turned upside down, up head first, going down. And looked like nothing could break my fall. And all of a sudden, I was screaming and screaming and screaming because it scared me. I didn't know. And I just kept screaming and screaming and screaming. Then all of a sudden, a voice screamed out. In the vision, and it said, Hades. I never knew what Hades was. And I said, Hades. But what happened was, as that voice screamed out Hades, I was jerked out of the dream slash vision slash I was actually there experienced. So when I woke up or came up out of it, I was sweating. It was in the middle of winter. My mother never really kept the heater on during winter time. You know, she was a conserver of energy. So it was kind of chilly in the house. But when I woke up, my face, I was drenched in sweat. Clothes, everything, just like as if my body, like as if I just came right out of a, a, a steam shower or something. And I couldn't wait to actually mourn.